Okay, you're here with Modmaster J, and we're going to go through a little Cydia tutorial here, uh, a little rundown on uh, what it does and uh, all of its features. Uh, so we're going to start off by uh, when you first open it up at the top here, you're going to sometimes see that it's uh, downloading new um, stuff, apps and tweaks, uh, updates for them all. Um, just let that go till the end and uh, once that finishes there may be some changes uh, that might happen to any of the tweaks that you already have installed so just go to changes and uh, update that we'll go through that in a bit um, but yeah so after it updates and everything uh, this is the home page of Cydia it's pretty straightforward you can just kind of manage your account if you have one tells you all the SHSH blobs that you have saved um, and that's the home screen for Cydia. I'm gonna do this video in sections and different parts just so that we can kind of I, I can hopefully cover uh, all of Cydia so uh, this is the first segment and uh, I'll move on to the second in one sec okay so besides Cydia's main page we have a uh, thing called sections and when you click on that, um, it's it's just gives you a rundown of Cydia, and it kind of categorizes everything in sections um, for Sidgets, uh, themes, tweaks, uh, Dreamboard uh, tweaks, uh, themes, um, SB settings themes. It's, so it's just basically themes and everything all put into uh, order here, and. Um, it's really it's really nice how they have it in sections uh, so themes carrier uh, themes complete themes dream board another one um, if you see more than one uh, like themes dream board here and then uh, up here again I have another dream board one IHR dream board it's just different sources that you put in that we'll go through after as well um, but uh, it's all different uh, different themes. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's just updated now, so this is perfect. Sometimes you'll get errors and it just means that it didn't catch um, the server or whatnot from whatever website it was trying to update from. So I'm just going to let this load through quick here. and uh, or, or not. Perfect. So I got no errors. So, uh, But sometimes you do. Um, it just means it didn't catch um, one of the websites. Okay, here, reloading data. So I'll just let it reload in now, and uh, that means that it's just put in all the updates uh, to anything that I've had in. So if there is any changes, it will appear here. So let's just see what happens here. Okay, so now the data is loaded in, and uh, we're going to move on to changes. Okay, so next is changes. So again, once it does that reloading, if um, there's any changes, it'll show up here, a little red button with how many there are. Um, we'll go into it. So there's no, there's none that I have, uh, no updates for what I have installed, but here are some updates that they just show of changes that have been made. Um, and it even shows the date uh, when they were made. So um, yeah, so that's changes. Um, if there are any updates or anything like that in Cydia. Um, okay, so now let's move over to Manage, which is a pretty vital one. Um, this is where all your packages are kept um, that you have installed from Cydia and the sources that you'll need to get the packages for Cydia um, uh, for free. Um, otherwise, you and there there are some packages that you have to buy from Cydia. Um, so let's start off uh, with the packages here. Um, we'll pop in the packages. Um, this is everything that I have installed. It's all check marked, whatnot, what's installed. Um, you can go into it and manage it, uh, modify it, which more or less means delete it. So if there's something you don't want from Cydia or if something that uh, if you install something from Cydia and you find that your iDevice is messed up in some way, um, you can always go back into here and uh, manage your package, go to what you last deleted, and then just delete it, um, and then respring, and whatever was happening should go away. Um, that's when you mix some Cydia packages that just kind of don't go together. But for the most part, 
when you're installing packages from Cydia, it will either remove the package or let you know that it's not compatible or with something. So um, the way to go Cydia for that, uh, it makes it a lot easier. But some packages you do put on and um, there might be a glitch. So you, you could just go into the packages and delete it from there. Uh, next is sources, another important one. Because when you first install Cydia, after you do the initial update, you're going to want to go into the sources um, and you're going to want to add sources uh, that I have. And there will be a list uh, in the description below of all the sources and packages that I have installed on this device and uh, other devices that I have as well, um, iPad 2 and stuff like that. Um, so when you're in, when you're in here uh, in sources, um, it's going to give you some sources that will be there. Um, but you're going to want to add the ones down there by just clicking on edit and then add. And then this will come up and then just write in what I have in the description below there and then hit add source and it'll go through. Sometimes it'll ask you, it'll say something and say, do you want to add anyways? Just click add anyways. Um, and when you're done that, you can just click done. And then um, you can actually go into uh, each individual source and uh, check out which packages each source has. Um, so there I have ad blocker from there, uh, which bl blocks all the silly ads that come up. So. Um, I mean, there's a number of things that you can get from each one. Um, so just go through each one if you want individually or go to the sections part, which kind of categorizes it for you. Um, I like to kind of go through each source and just see which each one has to offer. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's going into here. Um, again, you want something, you just click into it. Uh, Alternative OS 7 SB Settings HD, it's a theme. Um, you know, you can scroll down, uh, it gives you a little description, clean, beautiful, professional. Um, the good thing here is too, it also gives you the compatibility, um, so you, you, it'll let you know if it'll run on your device. So this is 4.0 and, and, and beyond, so it's okay for my device. Um, so then you just hit install in here, and in here... It'll let you know it's downloading it and the modifications that'll be made, the install of it, so alternate uh, OS 7 SB settings. If there's any problems with when you're installing or if there's going to be any discrepancies with the Cydia install, it will show up here and it will say also like um, deleting whatever or um, conflicting with. So um, once you have that, I'll try. I'll just download this anyhow. The alternative OS seven uh, SB settings. So then you hit confirm on the top right, and it runs, downloads it, and it doesn't want to put it in there for me. <laughs> I may have it installed from another. Now when this happens, it's kind of good actually. So when this happens. It's actually, I have it installed somewhere up from another source. So that's one thing you want to make sure of too, is just make sure that you're not trying to double um, put in uh, your things. But it won't let you anyhow. So that's all that means, is I already have it installed uh, on my system here. Um, so that's that for manage. And... Um, yeah, next we'll move on to the search, which uh, is pretty straightforward. Okay, so just to show you that uh, in my packages, that alternative one, um, yeah, there it is there. So, see, it was from uh, Excelis, um, uh, uh source, so that's what happens. It'll give me an error saying, hey, it's already installed, so it can't overwrite it, so it just kind of cancels out and uh, brings you back to here. Um, so we'll go to search. And uh, in here it's pretty straightforward. If there's a package that you see that you like, um, if you're watching uh, a YouTube video or something like that, uh, or just someone tells you about it and, um, and you want it, so you can just kind of search in here. Um, I'll put in the very first thing that I install on Cydia when I, when I do a jailbreak and I put uh, the first uh, uh, tweak that I put in. It's called SB Settings. And yeah, there it is there. 
from Big Boss Repo. It is, uh, it's great. It's, um, that's the swipe at the top. So you can swipe it and it gives you the different settings. So um, that search and that's what it does. And as you're writing stuff in, it starts to bring up stuff as well. There's other things as well. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, that is the uh, search. In Cydia. Okay, so that's uh, all of Cydia. Uh, this is uh, Modmaster J uh, signing out for now. Uh, please subscribe, uh, and if you haven't checked out my channel, go check it out. Uh, lots of useful videos there that uh, should help you out, or uh, at least give you some good ideas on what's what. And again, don't forget down below. Uh, in the info section um, is going to be all the sources that you will add um, and packages. Uh, sources and packages will all be listed uh, below. Um, and uh, that's about it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Challenge the ultimate fighter!